This video reviews two slightly more complex examples about finding the area of triangles. Now we do know the area of a triangle is normally just a half base times height. However, in this first problem, whilst we know the height, we've not actually got the base of the triangle. However, if we can find the base, we can therefore find the area. And we can find the base using Pythagoras. Because this is a right angled triangle. We know the hypotenuse. So if I do 8 squared take away 5 squared, which is 64 take away 25, then I end up with 39. So the base squared is 39, so therefore the base must just equal the square root of 39. So remember, if we know the hypotenuse and we want to find one of the shorter sides, we do the hypotenuse squared, take away, in this case, the height squared, which gives us 39, then we square root to find out how long the side actually is. So the base of that triangle is root of 39. It's a third. So therefore the area now just equals a half times base times height, which is the same as 1 times 5, 5 lots of root 39 all over Two. And if you can't quite see where that came from, we can imagine these as being over 1. 2 times 1 times 1 is 2. 5 times 1 is 5. So 5 square root of 39. The area is in terms of a third. So in the first example, we could find out the base or the height using Pythagoras. In the second example, there's no right angle, necessarily. However, there's a formula we can use, which is a half AB sine C, where the sides are A and B, and the angle is C. And that's a general result to find the area of any triangle if you know side, angle, side. And to apply the formula, we've got a half, lots of A, which is 6, lots of B, which is 3, lots of sine, 45. Now, if we have a calculator, we can put that in as we see it. But if we've not got one, there are some key values to learn. And sine 45 is one of those. And sine 45 is the same as square root of 2 over 2. Now to work all this out, we can write the integers 6 and 3 as over 1 and over 1. Then we times all the tops together and we times all the bottoms together. So 6 times 3 times 1 is 18. So 18 square root of 2 all over 2 times 1 times 1 times 2 is all over 4. And then to finish off, 18 and 4 are a factor of 2. And they can both be halved, so it's 9 over 2, with the square root there as part of the answer. So the area is 9 root 2 over 2.